Let's play around with some vintage computing. This is an old HP I found. One of these RAMs is not working because it was beeping when I first turned it on. But then I got to work. I got this nice cool NEC. These monitors will do different signals. So those ones you want. So I figured out. I don't know where I got this from. Oh, there it goes. So I wasn't doing that a minute ago. Huh. Interesting. I just replaced the RAM and then it went off. I just thought I had it right. I just thought I did. And that went away a minute ago. Let's try that again. I put it in here and then it ran. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I always got to play around with the RAM on these town thingies. Let's see if that did it. I got it to work. There it goes. Now it's going again. So you can see two green lights right here. See? Yeah, it's a boot action right there. This is an old HP RP700 business system. I have no idea where it came from. It's pretty cool though. Sometimes it had a RAM in it, it had a little bit. 400, 500 megabytes. It has a hard drive and it has a CD ROM. So that's kind of cool. It's taking so long to do this. Right there. I wanted to use it, of course, for games and stuff. Besides the heat sink on this puppy, huh? That's pretty. Reminds me of a uh, Xbox One X 1787 heat sink. It's pretty monstrous, huh? This is a business system. Uh, let's see. Your system can use chain since the last boot. Additional hard drive, etc. So there's 100 memories, 1 megabyte, yeah. Disk. Cool. Seems to recognize everything else. Save one. So let's save one. Cool. I wonder what's on this. I have no idea. Was invalid. So it looks like it needs a battery, onboard battery. I need to replace that. Okay. F1 to boot. Oh, there's. I found a, a Windows Vista disk in this. It's a fun little old something I picked up somewhere at a yard sale or something. And it works. First it didn't, it kept beeping like that. But now I had something to do with the RAM and I still have another um another activate Windows now. Huh. This is Windows Vista. I have I have Windows Vista business that'll work better than this than the Vista. But I may, I have Windows 98, I think I have. I may put this on Windows 98. Pretty cool. Lots of fun little old too. A couple thingies, I guess. Back then you were in the 5, 512 megabytes was a lot to make a to make two. Let me see if I can make some more memory out of this. But there's no on off button. Oh, there is. It's just a reset button. Do I have this? There it goes. Now I got it. So I have two more RAMs in here. But I don't think I can use them. They're hard to get to because of these. How many times you go? put RAM and replace RAM on old computers. 
The whole thing about computers is upgrading them. It's never to leave them not upgraded. Get these out of there for a second. It was beeping earlier. Let's see if it will. It's probably going to beep again on me. So I can figure out what takes going on. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's the rim that's causing issues. I only have three of them. I may have more sticks around somewhere. I just had it in here, I just took it out. Kind of fit. Hmm, weird. Hold on a second. Let's do this first. Oh, maybe I just said backwards. So I'm gonna take out the one gigabyte and throw in two fives. Trying to figure out which RAM doesn't work, is what I'm trying to do. This is the other five. I had it backwards. That was my problem. It just goes this way. I was doing it backwards. Yes, I think I was. Jeez. Can't even stick around man like I used to be able to. it's going to beep away on me. Here's it does. I just don't have an on off switch for it. It's up by the green lights right there. Alright, so those two as a as a pair give me that um, one gigabyte. But for some reason when I added this, this one it had three in it. This being the third, the other two match, this one's different. So maybe the configuration of this one doesn't match that one. Or it was in the wrong spot. So it should be one, two, and three. Right? HP, it's an RP5700 business system. It's pretty cool. So this is not like real old. Like my Tandys, but it's older. I want one with a CD ROM, which now I have. Cool. And it should do the same exact thing as it did last time on me. Which is going to give me the next screen. Alright, when I get to this, it seems to sell me the same thing. Let me run Unix. So I got 250 gigabyte hard drive. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. Alright, so what we want to do is try this last piece of RAM here. It just wasn't in right. That should go in the third slot. I believe that's where they were. So anytime with these, the first thing I do is take the RAM out because it's usually a problem. It's hard to see it because it's right. Right where that's gonna be. It's hard to get to this 
See if I get it to go. Cool. I like when things. So we'll see what happens now. I'll probably get back to the beeping again. No, well maybe this time I got it. So I messed around with the configuration of the way they were in there before it was the one gig. And then it was five and five, and it kept beeping, so I swapped them. I think all the RAM works, it just maybe it wasn't correctly put in there, I don't know. Or not seated right one or the other. But I think we're good to go now. So now it should, should get me to 1.5. Quiet too. And I have no idea where I got this from. I got a cool Apple I was playing around with yesterday that the battery blew up in it. But I got another one coming. So I can test all the other fun parts and then sell all the extra it had all kinds of RAM and all kinds of fun stuff with it. Eight gigabyte hard drive, which is a lot for back then. So we should get to 1.5 now. I don't remember this going. Yeah, we should go to 1.52. Set up boot menu. Just want to make sure my RAM works, which seems pretty cool. Yeah, the man, I got some fucking the heat sink's a monster. We'll use it for something fun. Alright, we're still going around, so we should get to 120. Huh. So it would be one. No, it would be two. Two, what am I saying? Duh. Two fives and a one makes two. So we'll get, we'll get into two. Two gigabyte RAM now I got. So that's pretty cool. That should be plenty of something like this. Right? We should get to the Yeah. Alright, so now we'll get back to this now. So we wanna go F1 with the changes because I wanna keep that. I gotta figure out if I gotta switch a battery on it. It's gonna give me another beep. You know, date and time's wrong. I'll have to fix that. Not a big CD-ROM, so the CD-ROM works because I have Windows Vista. I open that up and it's oh, Windows Vista is in there, which is fun. So, so this works. Pretty cool. Fun.